All right, hey guys, check this out. I picked this up from the Habitat store yesterday. I'm just now getting around to doing a flush test on it. This is a vintage something toilet. <laughs> Uh, there's no name on it, and it does not have the original tank. Uh, that's got the uh, that's got a Briggs 1.6 gallon flush tank on it. This is a 50s toilet. Uh, it's a forward trap, reverse trap, whatever you want to call it. A lot of people can call them call them either way. Pretty cool. I can't tell what name it is. Uh, I don't think it's Universal Rundle or nothing. It's not American Standard. It doesn't say standard. I can find no name or no nothing on it, so if anybody knows, yeah, leave it in the comments. I just know the tank says Briggs, but that, I doubt this is a Briggs bowl. All right, I'm, uh, the valve, it's not in good shape. It needs work. All right, hang on a second. I'm going to start the uh, hose up, and we'll quick uh, fill the tank and do a quick flush test with this thing. All right. With my lovely 100-foot garden hose, so... The water valve is all the way on. That's the kind of pressure I get. I gotta do something about that. I'm getting some water in the. Of course, that flapper ain't gonna be no good. I could see dry rot cracks in it anyway. So, now these water, these toilets, though, you can see where the water, probably the high water level is on it. So, uh, you could probably flush them real well with a 1.6 gallon tank. So, well, let's see. Let's let some more water into the bowl real fast here. Get that bowl full, because if the bowl's not full, a lot of times they won't flush right. Let's get it to where it's maximized. Water starts coming out of the bottom. There it goes. Okay. Let her fill up right around where the water line is. All right, I'm gonna give her a flush. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna give her a flush test of this 50s toilet. Uh-oh, didn't do it. That's a pretty good flush on 1.6 gallons. We'll do one more. It's almost full to the water line again. See how it does when it's at the water line. That's about 1.6 gallons right there. Let's let her get there, let her get there, let her get there. And she's there. Here we go again. Oh, it didn't siphon out that time. Hold the handle down, maybe. No, it needs a little bit more than 1.6 gallons. Hang on a second, let's let it fill up some more. Okay, we're a little over that now. Let's let it get to the top of that fill, valve, fill tube there almost. There we go. Now let's give her a flush and see how it does. Oh yeah, much better. Okay, all right, there you have it, guys. Whatever kind of toilet this is, whatever brand, not sure. All right, thanks for watching, guys.